Call in sick to work one day. Saw one of my students at the beach. We nodded as we both realized we were skipping my class. Hashtag I got caught. You never hear about the teacher skipping their class and then get caught. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, cause the teacher's like, bro, you're supposed to be in my class right now. But then the guy's like, hey, you're supposed to be sick today. Busted. That's great. That's legendary. That's a legendary moment. I would live like that, that mutual nod you gave, like you have to give that student an A. You just have to. I once took my child to a meetup picnic for the camp she was going to attend. We brought food and stayed a while and ate. And as we were leaving, I saw the actual group across the park. We'd been eating with a local church group who were too polite to ask who the hell we were. Well, those are children of God. Of course, they're not going to kick you out. God would like them to share the food with you. <laughs> oh, that would be so embarrassing. Like we have just been sitting with these random people eating their food and God bless them for being so polite. I don't know if I would have been that nice. I'd be like, bro, less food for me? You're not even coming to our church now? Like at least just go attend one of their church services at this rate, you know, even if it's a pity. Most embarrassing email exchange I ever had. Oh God, I hate email fails. Gives me anxiety. Sent an email. They replied and called me Motis. I replied with a stink about how my name is properly spelled and that it's actually really important to me. They told me to check my first email. I had misspelled my own name. In my defense, R and T are quite close. Oh, cause your name is Maurice. <laughs> So you started giving them hell saying, my name being spelled correctly is very important to me, but then you didn't even spell it right. Yeah, you're gonna have to eat your own words after that one. Hope it wasn't like your boss or something or like future boss, maybe it was an interview. I've had the fear of like sending an email. Actually, I recently had that fail a few months ago. Listen guys, I scanned my T4 and I was emailing it to my tax guy and I typed in the wrong email and all my private information had been sent to an actual registered email. I literally had to contact CRA. I had to contact Gmail. It was a freaking mess. We figured it out and I am safe and all my personal information is now okay. What's going on everyone? Thanks for hanging out with me, internet friends. I'm Sassy and we are checking out some embarrassing moments that will make you cringe. Part two. They make me laugh. They make me cringe because I get like secondhand embarrassment, but also fails and embarrassing moments are probably my favorite thing in this whole world. It's just hilarious. My sister was making a peanut butter sandwich when she quickly needed to change my nephew. Oh, I can't read this. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Are you kidding me? Is this gonna be what I think it is? She quickly needed to change my nephew's diaper. While changing the diaper, she saw some peanut butter arm on her arm and licked it off. It wasn't peanut, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Are you kidding? What are the odds you're making a peanut butter sandwich at the time that you need to change a diaper and then the diaper and whatever came out of the, in the diaper has the same color of peanut butter. So you're like, mm, peanut butter. And then it's literally poo. When you were going to lick it, did the smell like not hit you first? Oh, that makes me want to throw up. I could have lived my life without hearing that one. During small town 4th of July playground games, they called five and six up for potato sack races. I lined with the other kids and ended up coming in first place. They handed me a ribbon, I accepted it. Then I looked around and realized it was five and six year olds, not fifth and sixth grade. Oh, I was wondering I'm like, what's happening here? Yeah, big difference. <laughs> Five and six year olds are like literally kindergarten, not fifth and sixth grade. Of course you won. You were playing against practically preschoolers. Ay, ay, ay. I'm surprised they let you like, at least like they let you do the race. Even when you lined up, weren't they like, who's this giant? <laughs> compared to these children. Who's this adult? But hey, you take that ribbon and you won fair and square. After a shower, I stood naked for a sec by the window watching a cat. Just then the Google Maps camera car drove down my street. Hashtag I got caught. Do they have cars with their name on it? How do you know it's a Google Maps car? Do they genuinely have a Google Maps car that says Google Maps on it with their camera just being like, just driving around snapping pictures? That's wild. I have done lists of things found on Google Maps. There's been people caught doing the act of love in a car on Google Maps. There's things, y'all gotta be careful out there. People's nudes are gonna be on Google Maps instead of OnlyFans. First proper job interview. Got asked, 
how's your grammar? With a confused face, I answered, she's fine. Still got the job. Oh, did you think I meant grandma? How's your grammar? Oh, like grammar. How's your grammar? How's she doing? I'm trying to like justify how you got grammar for grandma. I'm surprised that someone asked the job interview, how's your grammar? If someone asked me that, I'd be like, not great. Honestly, not great. Getting a haircut, Barbara asked me what I do for a living. I said, advertising, what about you? He replied, I am a barber. Oh, hashtag, why did I say that? Honestly, it took me a second because I'm like, what's the fail? You're literally getting a haircut and you ask them what their job is and it's like, bro, I'm doing my job as we speak in this conversation. <laughs> it took me a minute too. I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice. Like, what about you? You know what I hate when it happens? When someone goes, thank you or something that on you too. What, do, what, what does that mean? Like I just reply with you too. Or if someone's working and stuff like, oh, like they're talking to me and like, oh, enjoy your day off. And I'm like, you too. And it's like, they're literally working. They're serving you. I called off sick to go to a music festival. Respect. The next day, my boss said, next time, don't stand in front in the front row. I was on TV, hashtag I got caught. Yeah, there's so many cameras at music festivals and stuff. I've actually never been to a music festival in my life. I've never been to any kind of like EDM thing. I've never been to anything like that. Concerts, of course, but nothing like that. But there are cameras everywhere because I see the footage of it all the time. That's a risky game. Honestly, just take the day off, book it off. And if you don't, just honestly, I would call in and be like, I'm going to a music festival. Got told off for taking a selfie in the bathroom mirror in Anne Frank's house. I, there, no excuse. I was young and still think about it. Oh my God. Like rightfully so, you got told off. Time and a place for selfies, you know, especially a bathroom mirror pic. That was not it. What are you genuinely being like, like captioning, like chilling in Anne Frank's, like, no. Take pictures of it and your experience and share something like maybe, you know, mindful and encouraging and inspiring, but like a bathroom mirror selfie. Working in Shanghai and my interns were buzzing that everyone in our building was saying Will Smith was in the eBay offices next door. I was losing my poop with them because hey, Will Smith, my manager walked over to me and said, you know, they're talking about you, right? Is your name Will Smith? I'm confused. Oh, y'all, I'm trying to, so Andrew McCaskill. I don't know who that is. They thought that he was Will Smith, so they were talking about him. Oh my God. So he was literally sitting there being like, dude, Will Smith is there, wow. And everyone's like, no, they think you're Will Smith. Accidentally tagged myself on a picture of my ex-boyfriend's new baby. <laughs> How do you accidentally tag yourself? That is so uncomfortable. Cause even if you remove the tag, pretty sure that notification would still be sent to them of that you tagged yourself in that picture. Oh my God. And obviously the baby's coming from someone else. So they would see, oh, that's so bad. Asked two women I was serving in a shop if they were mother and daughter only to be told they were married. Oh, and someone asked, what have you done that's made you want to die a bit inside? Yeah, but you know what? Like in a sense, yeah, it's like super awkward for them because it's like, no, we're dating. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, but you just think they're mother and daughter. But then like, you're also pointing out that one of them looks significantly older than the other one, which is also kind of awkward because it's like, who's playing the mother and who's playing the daughter here? All right, guys, those are some more embarrassing moments that will make you want to cringe. Leave a like on this video if you want part three. Let's do it. It. I live for these moments. Before I get out of here, I'm going to do today's sassy shout out and it goes to Michelle McCreary. They said, Joss, I love your upbeat and kindness to people. I'm glad to see that. That's so nice. Thank you. On sassy, I'm very like sarcastic and sometimes my humor, people could be like, they say like, you're rude or you're such a B word. And it's like, no, it's all humor, but I actually have a heart of gold and I love people and I want good things for humans, all humans, everyone. So I'm happy that that comes across in my videos, even though it's a sassy channel. If you want to be the next sassy shout out, make sure you're writing things down below. It does not have to be compliments. Don't worry, insult me, go ahead. But to stay classy and most importantly, stay sassy, but more importantly, stay kind. You know, <laughs> I'm so excited for these. Let's do an intro. I am sassy and we, I just kept my head like this for a very long time. <laughs> I felt it like get stuck. I'm sorry, I need to get this coffee in. I've been microwaving it four times, like one little cup of coffee. Like, let me just drink it. Okay, we're gonna pretend it's not here. Oh, that coffee's good. I almost want a second cup. I made it so good today. Wow, what's the word? 
Oh my God. You guys, this is so annoying that I can't think of that word. What's that big hippie festival in LA that everyone goes to every year? Coachella. Wow. Just, I, I need a second cup of coffee. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.